I am at Grand Falloon for the Prism Pop-Up Gallery Art Show. This is a one-night art show featuring all the colors and the spectrum of the rainbow. Let's go check it out. Red typically is associated with like love, hate, uh, can be lust, blood, violence, uh, an assortment of things, but I think what really sums up all of those is passion. Orange is the happiest color because it's very positive and optimistic. And the vibrancy and, you know, just living to the fullest, I think orange kind of captures that. It's mostly unplanned. I can't control a lot of this. And so when it happens the way I like it to happen, it's like Christmas. <laughs> so um, being that it's so unpredictable is really rewarding. Yellow just has this kind of really kind of bright brightness to it naturally and I kind of associate that brightness with light and so I'm very interested in that like internal kind of light with your body and so that's what draws me to this process is it becomes this moment of magic and creation. All the colors are interrelated and that's why art is beautiful is because everything you can make anything up, you know, and there's green in everything. You know, you're just drawn to certain colors, certain gestures, certain movements, uh, and they're kind of inexplicable. If you're only looking at what's at your eye level, you have no idea everything else that you're missing. So as I'm, you know, walking around with my camera, that's kind of one of my guiding factors is what else is there? What am, I, what am I not seeing if I'm only looking straight ahead? Uh, I create work based off of sensations or emotions. If I'm feeling something warm, it'll be a warmer color. Uh, if it's cold, it's going to be some sort of blue. But also if it's like happy, it'll probably be a yellow or a green or a light blue. Uh, and indigo and other purples, they tend to be comforting sensations or very warm and gentle sensations. There can be a lot of different interpretations from it, which I really like in art. I don't, I'm not trying to get a specific thing out of any of my pieces. I really want viewers to read into that. And I think geometry is kind of open-ended and kind of specific at the same time and in a lovely way. I start to uncover things into the actual paint. It's, it, it seems like I'll paint onto it and what's underneath, I start to see more things than what I initially saw. So I, I feel that I uncover this beauty, this hidden beauty that wasn't there to begin with. I had the entire rainbow. Uh, it really gave me a lot of flexibility. I was able to see which colors worked well together, you know, uh, which colors sort of conflicted with each other, and which ones gave really vibe, really good vibes when they were next to each other. Prism Pop-Up Gallery is very much featured on the artist. All of the artists that you've seen here tonight get 100% of the profit and we advertise the gallery with not my name but all of the artist's names. And as you know, the theme of the Prism Pop-Up Gallery is color. So we have all of the artwork organized by color so that the patrons of this art show can go and experience the entire Roy G. Bibb spectrum. Sometimes the best mode of transportation is just to leap fearlessly. 